we have a problem with our motorhome habitation door. This one here uh, it is on a Heimer B564 1998 Fiat Ducato chassis. Let me show you what the problem is. If I open the door, you can see that we've got this fastener here. This keeps the door open. It needs to be replaced, by the way, but uh, and this is why I noticed it. It doesn't actually match up. I can lift the door and put it on, but then it bends awfully. Look at that, it's bending a little bit. So it appears that the door has dropped a bit. And if I show you the hinges here, I can see just hit the top of this one and at the top of this one that they are worn. Something, well, the hinges have worn away and it's now metal on metal. On the lower part of the hinge, there does seem to be a spacer. So I can only assume that the spacer on here is actually worn away. Also, the end cap doesn't seem to want to be pushed in and I can actually take it out. And down there, I can see something and it looks like it's plastic. So I'm thinking that there's a collar that goes down here and there's a kind of a spacer at the end. Let's get this hinge off and take a look. Now the hinges are made up of three parts by the looks of things and they are quite large. That's one. And then the other one is down here. This part, top, middle, and this lower part here. So what I'm planning on doing is leaving this in place, unscrewing the lower part of the hinge, and see if I can get to this collar. Actually, you can see it just there. Yeah. See if I can get that off, and then we can um, go from there, I suppose. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's going to be tricky to get back that back on. So that's the hinge. It's just screwed on and the pin goes down there, of course. And it has an end cap, which doesn't look very well at all. I'll probably replace that as well if I can. Um, and that kind of, it kind of clips onto the door, so to speak. See this? It looks like it grips the door as well as being screwed on. And then this is what I found inside. So I'm going to have to see if I can find some of these on the internet or maybe even print my own. I've just proved myself correct because I've swapped the plastic thing from this one with this one. So now there's a, there's a little kind of spacer here. And if I go around to the door, it actually matches perfectly. And look at that, the top cap sits perfectly. So it looks like I'm going to have to make some of these up, which should be fun. So my first attempt at creating the spacer for the hinge looks like that. I designed this on a CAD program and printed it off on my 3D printer. Uh, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. So looking at the original spacer, it seems that there is a key down one side, so it's, it go, only can go in one way. And there's the hinge, I've just taken it off the door, and it won't go in, which is good, it won't go in until we rotate it to the key. Fantastic, how cool is that? Working, that's the good news. However, it doesn't actually fit the pin in the door, uh, in the door hinge. When I offer it up to the pin of the hinge, it won't actually go on. It's, it's just a little bit too small, so I'm going to have to make that a bit bigger. I've managed to design spacers for the hinges based on what was originally there. Now, it took me a few attempts, some, uh, well, and when I say attempts, they're all the same, except that they're just slightly different sizes because I found out that the filament that I used, the plastic, seemed to shrink or it wasn't exactly a, a, pro, a good fit for the, the hinge or the, the actual pin itself. So I um, eventually managed to figure out what I needed to do, oversize it ever so slightly, and uh, I have tested it, although at the, the, at the moment the, they're not in there, I've removed it. Um, but yeah, it does fit 
and uh, I'm just about to replace all four. You need four uh, for the entire hinge system, uh, but uh, I'm going to replace them one at a time, so therefore I don't have to uh, take the door off. So taking them off is fairly simple. Just uh, remove the screws, and you just have to slide it down. And look, I've also created some end caps as well. These fit quite snugly in there, so they're all right. Grab one, it's got its own key there, so it only goes in one way. Look at that. It's nice and snug. <clears throat> now this is the tricky part. Now it's a bit tight against the pin here if I try and slide it on, because this needs to slide up uh, and also grip the door at the same time because of this ridge here. So if I pull that out a bit, stick it on the pin, and now I can slide it up there eventually. There you go. And now I can tighten it up. Now does that work? That seems to work a treat. Just got to do all the others now. Ow! Right, last one going on now. I'm going to stick the cap in. There you go. It's the cap. And the spacer or collar, whatever it is. Oh, that's just going to fit in straight away, I think. Moment of truth. Do you know what? It actually feels smoother. It was a smooth door anyway, but that does feel smoother. Oh, and that's uh, lining up perfectly. I just need to print these off now and replace them. I just want to interrupt this program and fast forward on a few more days. Uh, I have managed to print off the catch here for the door. However, I have managed to fix it. There we are, all nicely fixed and other than a really strong gust, that's gonna hold. So what did I do? Well, I had a comment in one of my videos saying that all you need to do is heat it up with a, a hairdryer, or, well, I wouldn't use a heat gun, you might damage some something else. But uh, yeah, I got a hairdryer, put it on maximum, put some pliers around here so that, you know, you can, you can put, push, them, push these two bits together, and uh, yeah, just keep heating it after about, I suppose it was maybe 10 minutes. I, I, I stopped doing it and gave it a test once it's cooled down a little bit more. And uh, yeah, it doesn't move much, but it moved enough so I, didn't have to, I don't have to use the printed off ones. But they are in Herman when, if we need them. Anyway, back to the main video with ads. Now, I don't know how long these hinges are gonna last. I think, I'm using the wrong filament, that's the plastic. This, um, I'm using PLA, which is very common. I believe that they're not UV protected, so they could get a bit, um, they could go very brittle very soon if it's in the direct sunlight. Also, they seem to uh, get quite wobbly, a bit flexible under intense heat. So if you, for instance, if you heated it with a hairdryer, a hot hairdryer, they go, go a bit floppy. So yeah, I don't know how long they're going to last for. However, it doesn't really matter because if they go brittle, break or whatever, I could just print some more and it's, as you see, it's fairly simple to replace. So I'm not that worried. I might, might start looking into different filaments, um, UV protection and a bit more flexible kind of, um, kind of uh, plastics rather than the rigid, strong stuff. But that's it. So what do you think? Is this a good fix? Uh, do you think I I'm gonna have any problems in the future? Let us know in the comments. And if you're interested in these, this fix, this uh, getting, the, um, getting some yourself, then let us know in the comments section. I'll be uh, uh, interested to um, help you out there. Uh, and until next time, don't forget to subscribe, and like the video, bye-bye.